officer. He used a fake badge to target his victims nearly two years ago. In December, a jury convicted him of kidnapping and rape. And this morning, he learned his punishment. But before that happened, the defendant had a few things to say. And Fox 13's Gloria Gomez explains why Evans is now claiming he didn't get a fair trial. Even at his sentencing, Justin Evans remained defiant. It still was a conflict of interest. Evans blames his conviction in December on his public defender's illness. I do know I have the right to a healthy lawyer to be able to make cognitive decisions and use his professional judgment. In August of 2021, prosecutors say Justin Evans was driving around Tampa with a fake police badge and lights. The defendant pretended he was a police officer. He effectuated a traffic stop on a vehicle containing three women. One of those women says Evans ordered her out of the car and arrested her. He told me that I was under arrest because he found marijuana in the car. She says Evans handcuffed her and put her in the back of his car. He then drove her to an apartment complex where he raped her. Additional charges were filed against Evans when another alleged victim came forward after reading media reports and recognizing his car. This time, the crime was captured on surveillance video. Deputies say you see Evans driving a dark-colored Chevy Malibu, pretending to be a police officer, pulling over a woman near the corner of Brook Street North and Bush Boulevard East. The video shows him making her get out of the car and patting her down while her seven-year-old son was inside the car. He leaves a short time later. But it would be the charges against this victim that would seal Evans' fate. He was found guilty of sexual battery and kidnapping. The judge sentenced him to life in prison. Gomez, Fox 13 News.